Hi everyone. Hello. Today is a big day. We've been waiting for this for three years, Gemma, to get a paramotor. paramotor. Yeah. Come with us, we'll explain on the way. It's yeah. hot. It's 36 degrees, but we've got aircon, which is nice. We had 38 and a half a minute ago. Oh, hot as balls. So why are we only getting paramotors now? Well, we want to make sure that we really like the people and the companies that we, we partner with. And Limitless has been an absolute dream to work with. Obviously, Eric at Aviator is the main person behind it. Uh, we're just on our way to see Carlos at Liberty, where all of the frames get manufactured. Yeah, that's it. We're in now. Welcome to Spain! So what are you looking forward to then most, or like seeing at the factory? I'm really curious how they build it, because it. I'm sure a paramote is one of those things that looks really simple, but once you start actually looking at building one, it's actually there's a lot of stuff there. I'm looking forward to meeting Carlos. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's going to be an interesting character. I think he'll be very interested. This train's trying to have us. He's having us. <laughs> Este paramotor es bueno. Este paramotor es bueno. Este es el. Muy pie. bien. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Me gusta volar. Por favor. We've just seen some massive bird in the road that maybe looks like a vulture. I think it's a vulture. Oh and look, it... there he is. God, he's massive. He's massive. He's huge. What do we do with him? I feel too scared to get I out. I think he's but still juvenile as well. What? Can we he, help him? I don't think we can do anything. He, he all needs to fly tomorrow. Oh shit. Oh. oh no way, he's taking off. But this is what I mean, he can't really take off. Ah. Because there's no, uh, there's no thermals. He's going up the hill as well. Should be. He yeah, needs to get out the it's road, It's just not man. good to be in the road, yeah. Ah. I hope he just goes to the side and just it's waits. It's like a gazelle. Wait, hold on, I've got an idea. Wait. Okay, he's going in the bush. Okay, That's he's good. in the bush. That's better. I hope he stays in that bush. That was bonkers, wasn't it? <laughs> You've never seen one before, have you? I've seen... The last time I saw vultures was when we went to Villa Verde do Rodel and we saw them from the kayaks, but they were like flying above us way high and yeah. I didn't realise they were that big. They're massive, yeah. And it uh, looks like we're here. Oh. We've made it and I think <laughs> tomorrow will be about an hour drive to Liberty, but uh, yeah. See how it goes. Let's go and get a head down. Morning, everyone. Good morning. We're back on the road. Uh, let's go to Liberty. Just Good sun. thing we can hold our lunch, innit? I wish there was one over there. Is So, Gemma, turns out this is your frame. There's a, Our there's, frame. there's a huge amount of, liber of uh, limitless frames here, and apparently this is going to be yours. So by the end of the day, it should be uh, should be assembled. It's 
too tall. <laughs> do you have Do you have any questions for uh, Carlos before he goes? Because he needs to go weld some stuff. Oh, I've got loads of questions. Will we get to interview properly? Yes, we'll. Okay, get to so interview. not none of the just big a, questions. Just about Just about your frame. Well, it, it, it's bigger than I expected it to be. It's, it's big. way it's bigger than I expected it to be. 153, right? Para mí es la medida ideal para todo motor, vale, porque puede usarlo volando atrás con una hélice de 140, de 130. Lo puedes usar con una hélice de 140, incluso con una hélice de 1450, vale, que son las hélices de paso variable. Si tienes un motor un poco más pequeño como el Atom. Bueno, tienes tienes una, más, margen más, margen, más, mar, más margen de seguridad. Sí, Cuanto más margen de seguridad tengamos, mejor, ¿vale? And it's meant to be like closer to your back, isn't it? No, porque la configuración no se basa en el chasis, sino se basa en la posición del arnés. Mm, wow. Vale. Okay. Y con el sistema Total Control, tú puedes modificar la posición del arnés mm -hmm. y la posición de los ar, de los brazos. Sí. Okay. Entonces, aquí nos especializamos a que cada chasis sirva para cada piloto. Show me, you get to pick what color you want. Oh, oh nice. Oh. It's more of this. Oh. Preto or negro. I like this or this, but no. I think I think you're the red. And you're I the blue. I think if I made one, I'd probably go for the blue, but I think you're the red. Okay. <laughs> they do all of the CNC machining in-house, and then these get anodized, basically all of these versions. So that you can swap it in case the put it the other way in case the uh, engine changes. La máquina se sobrepasa. De de cuántos de cuántos litros es? Twelve liters, Jim. Nice. So this is the fuel pickup and this is the air vent. To each I other. Got you, I got you. This is an experience that most owners don't get to actually get to see your paramotor being built in front of you. It is. It's a bit special, isn't it? It's very special, yeah, and getting to choose bits for it. Because the arms are aluminium, mm -hmm. that's quite soft. So they use these uh, stainless steel bushings to put there so that when the bolt goes through, it swings better, but also it doesn't damage the, uh, yeah. the aluminium. It's a lot of work. It it's a lot, lot of work, work, isn't it? It's a lot of work to make a paramotor. Well, to assemble a paramotor. We still need to see how all the other stuff is done. 
You haven't had your two fingers yet and wanted to get stuck in and like start yeah. getting a drill or like uh, putting Doing some something. nibs together. Doing something. Well, we're going to have a look now how to make uh, the netting, which apparently takes about half an hour at least. So oh, wow. I expect it to take a while. saying that the, the net is so thin and then not not so, so small compared to say like something more old school more nylon because the turbulence that the wires throw to the propeller is proportional to the diameter squared so the smaller the the netting the cleaner the airflow will be over the propeller and the more efficient it will be and the less noisy it will be. Bueno, va a ser el primer limit let en Europa, ¿vale? Is our motor the first one that's going to be available to someone in Europe? Yours is going to be the first limitless in Europe. Yes. That's pretty impressive. Rivet. I was holding my breath the entire time. Okay, okay. Speak with a magnet, that's it. Vale, otra cosa. No, no, no. Yeah, you should always be, you were saying, he's always above the knee, so it doesn't hit you. Yeah. So he was just sin, saying, sin if, if, you, if you're going to sit down, don't use your hands so that you can see what the harness does. Okay. Okay. See, see how it goes on its own? Okay. Try that again. It feels huge, but it feels good. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now we've got a power motor. I know. <laughs> Took a while to assembly. But if you enjoyed that, you might also like to watch. We have a full video coming from uh, the whole fabrication process. 
and also an interview with Carlos, the owner of uh, Liberty, and also Lorenzo and Pavel, which are some of the R&D and test pilots for Liberty. Oh, and one with Eric from uh, Aviator as well, oh. about the whole uh, Limitless frame. Yeah, and if you just too excited and you can't wait for any more footage to come out. They've actually got a video over on the Aviator Show on YouTube, which is linked in the description below. Um, as always, we want to thank all these lovely people who support us on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and there's plenty more coming soon. That's it. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.